I hope you like my intro. I'm trying to jazz this video up a bit because it's not the most pretty sight. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to do sacrificial form work for staircases. So this is where the soffit is lost form. Basically we build it and it's there forever. Which is one of the most expensive types of stairs because you can't strip your form work and get your, get your equipment back. What we got here, it's actually two staircases joined together and they're made in the middle. So I'll just give you a walkthrough of one that I've, I've built the soffit on. So all that form work is between walls. So once this concrete gets poured, it's impossible for us to strip that out. This is one I haven't built yet. I've cut most of my ply, it's ready to go. Did it the other day and then it rained, I had to go home. Built half of it, so one side's done. So what I'm gonna show in this video is just the way I do it, frame it out. Shout out to Ryan from Ozform, that's who I'm working for. He's given me ply, so unfortunately for him, probably the most expensive way. Cause all that gear's lost, so there's about $150 worth of um, loss form in each flight here. So we got five stairs, there's 10 flights. That's $1,500 worth of form work just lost. Um, so what a lot of people do is they'll use cheaper items like corrugated iron, scrap bits of ply, and yeah, just stays in there forever, eventually rots away, I guess. All right, what comes first? Mark out our soffit, which I've already done. Here's my pencil line running down, chalk line. Got it on both sides. Now I've got a little piece for the top, pre-cut. Got some little stringer, I guess you could call it, pre-cut. So let's put it in. First fixings, I'm just going to nail gun them in, nailing into the mortar. And then we're going to put a few concrete nails. Next is the sides here. Now that we have these two bits of ply, we're just going to run timbers in between. And if we get them tight, they'll be really strong. We measure these and we want to make them about a one millimeter larger. 1015, 1015, 15, a meter 15. Four of them at a meter 15. So just swap back over to the larger nails. So we want these pretty tight because we got these nails, then we got the friction of it being tight between two walls. And then, because I'm using long nails and skew nailing them in, all these nail gun nails are actually going in and giving extra bite. As an extra, I just put these underneath. And these nails are also biting into the brickwork. That 
that's it. These are solid. Like I've worked out the weight, these aren't gonna budge. So now I can put my ply on. If you are worried, you can put another timber down the center and just some uprights. But yeah, let's chuck the ply on. So I put some cleats on. This is just to walk up. Being sure to leave the nails out so that steel fixers can pull the nails out. So that's why I put those little plum cuts on my stringers. Okay, that's solid. Solid as. Done. Now we're gonna do the top. So what I'm doing here is I'm just marking this soffit for the other side. Real basic marking. So I've got a height for my landing. I can pretty much, I can just copy what I've got here. So it's, and every staircase has been the same, so I know. My landing is 500. And the angle of the soffit is 34.5 degrees. And do the top. I know it's 110 down. And then I could ping a line, but I'm just gonna use a straight edge to meet the two lines. That's it, that's how quick I mark this off it out. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put ply on the ends. So I've gotta put two, I've gotta build a little flat deck. And then I just come up on the angle. Just gonna put some short nails back in my gun. Hey Ryan, I know you're watching. Imagine if I forgot to nail in one side with concrete nails. Woo. All done, thanks for watching my videos. Quick one, it wasn't super interesting, but hopefully it helps some guys out there. If you're in doubt, just put an extra brace underneath. Please subscribe. I've got heaps of form working tips coming up. I'll get more specific as we go and I'll get some cooler videos coming up too. Yeah, it's about to rain. I'm packing up. See ya.